What's up guys? Got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at uh, TFC Toys, Project Uranos, the next figure in the line. This is Blackbird, aka Silverbolt, aka why did they make this so back heavy? <laughs> he always looks like he's going to take off. That is probably the real biggest problem with this guy is in vehicle mode. He just always takes off. So yeah, uh, as you can see, he is a uh, SR-71 Blackbird, but he is white, so he's a white bird. Don't know why they didn't call him White Bird. Anyway, um, he's supposed to be Silverbolt, the leader of the Aerobots. Um, he, they didn't make him a uh, Concord for whatever reason, probably because nobody knows what a punk Concord is anymore. But a lot of people were pooping on this guy because of the the choice of alt mode. I think it's fine, you know, I mean, this guy is much cooler looking than a Concorde would be anyway. Um, he does also come with this detachable drone, who also becomes the chest plate, which, and we're going to take a look at him in a second, we're going to look at, actually look at him first, but just to show off, actually yeah, you know what, he just, yeah, it just pegs on with this peg right here and it folds down. So we're going to put him off to the side, let's take a look at this guy first. Um, so yeah, they just gave him a little drone as a sixth figure. Um, he's going to turn to the chest plate for Superion, Uranus. Um, so yeah, and he's actually also transformable. So you can actually just, he's just, you know, he's just a little mindless drone. It's actually pretty solid, not a lot of kibble. So you just pull these off to the side. Um, you're going to fold this chest, this piece down becomes a chest piece, reve chest piece revealing the head. There's a little um, latch right here to fold it down so you can get clearance for the head. You can't really see that too well, so let me zoom in a little bit. He is kind of a little guy. You know, split the legs and fold them down and then as you can see the it actually shows the bottom of the ball joint so you just gotta rotate it at the ball joint. Flip up the foot and you pop the ball joint off which happens a lot. Sure you rotate that down and around. Um, the arms, you just want to fold them this way and then fold them back, kind of. Hold on, here. You gotta fold these bits down on either side up on top. I don't know how much of that you just saw. Fold them at the elbow. And again, these little bits on the bottom fold out for guns, fold them at the elbow, and yeah, it goes that way. Why is he all of a sudden not wanting to stay properly? Anyway, sorry. And you just fold these bits off in his waist to create a, a waist piece. So there this little dude is in his robot mode. And it's cool that they gave us an extra little figure, um, but he's, you know, he is what he is. He's nothing great. He's definitely not, you know, a good figure by himself. Um, he has no hands, but the hands are just molded in on the insides. Um, he does have decent articulation. Head goes nowhere. Um, shoulders can rotate all the way around, in and out for the this way with the transformation. Um, you got a joint right there at the upper biceps and at the elbow. Um, joint, it hinges at the waist up here, but nothing at the hips as far as um, waist articulation. Old jointed hips though, um, foot pivot and knee goes all the way, all the way back. For the transformation. So yeah, that's this guy. Oh my god. Just gonna chill him out to this side. So yeah, there's this little dude. Um hopefully the black background will do the black backdrop will hope will hopefully help with the fact that these guys are completely white. We'll see in editing. So yeah, so here he is. Here's Blackbird. Cockpit does open. 
revealing the cockpit inside. Uh, it does have the the nice thruster detail of being you know used. Same thing with the the intakes and the exhaust, which is cool. And as you can see, you can totally just see his robot mode chilling out underneath. Um, somebody has actually taken, there's been complaints that, you know, it's just a plane strapped to the back of a robot and people have actually gone ahead and unscrewed the robot and separated the plane and created a plane and a robot separately because that's how much of a, it's just basically two pieces. But, I mean, they did it with Jetfire, with uh, Leader Jetfire, Return of the, uh, Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire, and I think this actually does it better because they didn't have to follow that movie aesthetic. So it's this is a lot you know blockier, and I think it just works a little bit better. But you can't totally just see the robot underneath. And he's still ridiculously back heavy. So yeah, to transform this guy, you're gonna fold up that front landing gear, and you're actually gonna lift this whole part up. So you separate it from there's two pegs in there, right here, and they peg on inside of the fist right there and then you're actually going to pull it away and there's a little teaser that's the barrel this is actually becomes his gun so underneath he's got these two gatling guns and we're going to flip those up and we're going to separate them here and then there's a gray peg and then there's a hole on the inside and those peg together and then it sits flush, so it sits straight that way, like that. You're going to come underneath and flip out the peg so you can hold it. And then you fold up the barrels and then rotate them forward, like that. And that is Blackbird's gun. And then for Uranus, you're actually just going to extend it like that. And that's Uranus's gun. Not crazy about the gun. Because it doesn't look anything like Superior's gun or anybody's gun. It's just the cockpit of the of the of the alt mode. But it's okay. I'm sure there'll be a solution for that. If you don't really like it. So now on to the main event. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bit and just on, on double hinge, we'll just fold it up out of the way. These rocket boosters, rocket boosters, the jet engines, um, they peg in at the foot, the back here. So you're going to lift up, lift up on the wing tips first, get this out of the way. You're going to separate it there, and then you're going to unpeg it. See, it's got a, there's a peg here. So you can see it through there. That's the peg that it connects to the foot, and there's a hole. Those peg together, and then it pegs in right there. And it's also on the extendable hinge. You can actually detach these just like all the other Uranus figures. But I just separate them and leave them attached. So the same thing on this side. Detach it from the leg. Separate it. Pull it out. Um, this whole back plate of the tail will, is going to come up too. On a double hinge, these ends fold in. Um, there's two pegs here and two slots there. Um, they helps them hold on in you know both you know the top and the bottom for vehicle mode, but they also peg together. Uh, there's backpack like that, so it makes it nice and clean, which I do really like. For the thrusters we're gonna leave off to the side. Actually, we can go ahead and um, the wing tips gonna fold in, fold these up, get them however you want. I just do them like that for now. I'm going to collapse the thrusters and peg them back in. And just make sure these bits are folded up on the backpack. And then just fold these back and up out of the way. So now onto the rest of the vehicle mode, or the, alt, the robot mode. I'm going to extend out the legs. They're on these crazy like quadruple hinges, but we'll get those out of the way and we'll get those done up in a second. Just extend them straight and you're going to rotate them all the way around 
but just be careful with the crotch piece. It does catch on the back, so you just want to watch out for that. On the um, the underside of these bits, you'll, it's hard to show, but there's angled bits. See those angled bits right in here? Um, the crotch plate will actually catch that. So you just want to kind of lift it up and out of the way when you rotate it around, or just be careful. It's not that big a deal, just, just something to be aware of. Um, for the legs, you want to rotate them so that the actual knee, flat part of the knee is facing forward at this joint, at the thigh joint. And then we're going to rotate them all the way around on the knee joint, that way. So there's a lot of joints on this guy. So now for the feet, I'm going to lift up on these knee guards and fold the knee bits around. Lift up on the knee guard, flip them around. Feet just fold out and around. Fold out and around. So we're actually most of the way there. And now for the torso, I'm going to get a better shot of the torso. For the torso, you're just going to... Why are the arms not pegging in? The arms are usually pegged in together. There's pegs on the inside here. You're going to unfold those, fold them straight out. Rotate them up here at the shoulder. Around. Fold them down and around so the knee, the elbow is facing the right way. Do that on both sides. One, two, like that. Oh, not like that. Like that. This does actually show the connector bit when you do that. It's unavoidable. There's little panels here on the forearms. We're going to lift up on those panels. And then we're going to pop the fists out. On both sides. Like so. Just kind of move his arms up and out of the way. Um, the landing gear bits, you can also detach if you don't want, if you don't want them. But we're just going to extend them straight. And leave them like little fins. Again, fold them out and then just rotate them up. And then if you look next to his head, there's these two little these two gaps and these panels. And you just fold these little panels in. And there we have Blackbird. If I can get the ratchets in there. In his robot mode. So as far as the backpack, you can do whatever you want with it. It does fold in and out and the, the um, wing bits can go any which way they want. I usually just condense it on the back thusly. He does hold his gun thusly and the way you peg it onto Uranus in uh, combined mode is it comes with um, a connected piece that Hercules came with. Um, I didn't bring it in with me it's not really worth it to show it off it's, no, it's just a adapter piece basically. So there we have him with his little dude. You can kind of see his size. Uh, just for a quick size comparison, here he is with Heart Steel Thundercracker. Which roughly Voyager size, so he is quite beefy. Um, he is also a lot more expensive than the other guys so far. Um, he was, was like 130 bucks as compared to the 100 or so of the other guys. Just something to be aware of. So, as far as articulation on this guy, I'm going to just take his gun off. Because it's basically too big to show with his articulation. Um, his head is on a limited ball. He can look forward and back a little bit and does rotate side to side just fine. Um, shoulder, arms go up for the transformation mostly. And if you lift those panels up, you can get them to go straight up like you do on YMCA. But you're not really going to do that. Um, he can rotate up at the shoulder, for the, mostly for transformation. Um, does bend at the elbow and the upper bicep. Just be aware that the connected port does show when you do this. Um, rotates at the wrist. Waist, well, rotates at the waist. Has a hinge here at the upper thigh. Bends it. Just got to see these knee bits do not peg in. They just kind of sit there, so you got to be careful. Double knee. 
for a transformation. But it does have a solid double knee, so you can get you can get all the way back. And foot is on a limited ball. Actually, it's not a ball. It's kind of like a universal joint. It's a swivel and hinge, um, but it's fairly limited. Uh, hips are on a ratchet, in and out on a ratchet. On a uh, uni that's a universal joint. The hips are. So I can get. So I'm pretty sure I said in my other videos I was going to do vehicle combined um, robot, but going from his combined mode, you know, going from vehicle to combined mode for him is kind of silly. It's just easier to go to robot first. Um, his combined mode isn't that far off from this. So to go to combined mode, I can just talk about him. How I um, I do like him as a fig as a standalone figure. Um, the back can be a little hollow in the legs for transformation, and the backpack can be a little finicky because nothing really pegs in. But he is quite beefy, and I do I like his face. I like his light piping. Light piping is excellent, as with all these guys. Um, it is kind of limited in the arms and the elbows mostly, and it does show the connective ports. But I mean, overall, I'm, I'm totally happy with them. Um, I don't really mind them going with a Blackbird over a uh, Concord. It doesn't really bother me too much. I could bother other people. But overall, I dig him. Um, he's probably... See, I don't even want to say he's the weakest. Because I think Phantom is a little bit basic. He is really cool. Phantom is really uh, cool, but he's really, you know, basic size. He's not really basic sized. Just overall kind of basic and blocky. And this guy's, this guy's a little bit blocky too. But... I don't know, I feel like a little, there's a little bit more going on with him. And I do dig his alt mode, even though most people don't like it, because he's a white blackbird. And it doesn't bother me that much. Anyway, so we're going to go to combined mode. So for combined mode, we're going to flip up the panels next to his head. You can leave his head facing forward, it doesn't matter, because it's going to get hidden. I'm going to lift up the arms, and there's pegs on the arms. And there's peg holes on the backpack, and you're going to kind of go in on an angle and peg those in like that. It's kind of easier just to do it and show you what it looks like when it's done. So again, just rotate it, go in, and push it in. Then we're going to come along, oh, and I always forget this. You want to fold the fist in before you do this. You can do it after too, it's not, but it's just easier to do it before. Lift up on the panels, fold the fists, and close the panels. Um, there's pegs, like I said, to combine the arms for uh, vehicle mode. And there's a hole, there's a slot right there. And we're just going to bend it at that double hinge and slot it in there. So take the connector port and just move it sideways. So again, rotate it, fold it into that slot, and lock it in. So zoom out so you can see. So it looks like that. For the legs, we're going to rotate it around 180 degrees. Like I said, lift up on one of those bits and just, it's, just make sure that it doesn't catch on those angle bits like I showed. Backpack, like to disconnect, like I said. Um, then for the feet, um, I'm just showing you the backside of them. We're going to fold the feet up, so just rotate them up around and then up and then they kind of lock in rotate them around and up fold the knee on this double hinge and rotate the kneecap over the foot like that fold the knee fold it around come around to the front fold it up on the double hinge this exposes the connector bit there Fold it up on the double hinge like that. Make sure everything is straight. Like I said, the backpack likes to come apart. There we go. So that's um, the body mostly done. So now we're going to come up to the chest piece. And there's two pieces on the side. Those are going to become the new crotch. And we're going to hold up on this black piece and then disconnect the red chest. And then just, it's on a double hinge and it just move it down. It does peg in, but very lightly. 
Um, then we're gonna take the wing bits, fold them to the side, fold them down, fold them under, like that. That just mostly gets them out of the way. You can disconnect them if you wish. I'm just not a big fan of disconnecting things because then you lose them. So I just leave them disconnected. I mean, I leave them connected like that. So now what we're gonna do is take this black piece, and fold it out, and then, yeah, the, right, the chest piece actually you can disconnect too just to get more clearance. And the head is in there. And what you have to do is grab the head, and kind of wiggle it out. And just be careful because the antennas are on here. And I'm actually going to do this. You see it in there, right? I'm going to do this off camera real quick. Because I don't want to break it. There we go. So we take the head, it's on this accordion hinge. And then there's a slot on the top of his head, his robot mode head, and there's a peg here. And then that just slots, you fold that up, you slot it in, take his antennas, hold his head and extend his antennas, just be careful, it's clear plastic. And they will lock in, they are kind of wobbly, but it's alright. Um, almost done. Lock that back in, take this black piece, fold it up. And then there's two pegs here on the arms, and the black piece just pegs onto that. Like so, and then we are almost done. Well, we're done with him. This is so his new his. Unfortunately, the chest piece doesn't really lock in. It does peg in, but it's still on a hinge, so it still kind of wobbles. But that's him mostly done. So then we take little dude. I'm actually going to quickly transform him back off camera into vehicle mode. It's going to be much easier to show you. Going from vehicle mode to chest mode. Okay. Here we have him back in vehicle mode. So what we're going to do is disconnect the wings. They're basically going to go there. Like that. Take this whole piece, crack it in half. Like crack it in half like that. Get your finger in here and split these pieces here. Um, there's a bit right here that connects, that pegs into here for uh, vehicle mode, so you can just fold that away. Kind of spread these out. And what you're going to do is you basically want it like that. What you're going to do is there's two pegs here, and then there's two holes here. And you're going to peg them into there. So there we have it with the chest piece ready to go. So yeah, this is this chest piece is also a big part of a uh, bit of contention. Uh, most people don't like it at all. Uh, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Besides that, it's you know since it's a figure itself, it's kind of finicky. But I mean, I don't really play with them. Once I com you know, once I combine them, and you can basically angle this stuff any way you want. There we go. So there he is, all done up. Um, there are people that have actually figured out a way to mod the chest so that you can use the normal silver bolt chest, or uh, blackbird chest, as superior's chest. Uh, it involves inserting a pin, drilling out a pin, basically, you know, a hole for a pin, and then using a pin to store stuff. It's and then you use the instead of hinging down like that, it hinges up. To me, it's kind of a mess. Um, I'd rather wait and see what TFC does because they said that they, you know, if there's enough outcry, they might change things. So if they feel that they want to give us a new chess piece, then I will check it out. Otherwise, there's always other third parties. You know, there will always be other solutions than going crazy and changing things yourself. Um, 
The other, the other part of contention is point of contention is his face, and this one I do agree with. He's got this permanent look of surprise, like he just walked in on his parents having sex, which I don't really like. But they also said that if enough people don't like it, they will change the head, and it's just on a ball joint, so you can just pop it off and pop in a new head. So hopefully that that I actually do hope happens. But here he is, all ready to go with the chest piece and everything. Um, overall, I do dig him. I don't really mind the chest piece at all. And I think once it's all done up, it will look much better than it looks now. Um, it looks kind of crappy now with the chest piece like this because there's no arms on it or legs. So it looks kind of out of, sh out of place. But I mean, I think once it's done, it's going to look fine. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it. You can do the other mod. Or you can wait for another chest piece. But I do kind of dig it. Alright, so here we have our look at um, Blackbird. Uh, some people don't like the fact that they that they made him a Blackbird instead of a Concord. Some people don't like the Blackbird look at all. Um, some people hate what they did with the chest with this with the little dude. Honestly, I think it looks fine. I'm actually really looking forward to completing Uranus. Uh, I really believe that once this guy is cohesive, you know, it's actually all gestalted up and completed, that he's going to look awesome. And I really, really, really can't wait for it. Um, most of the, actually all, well, all of the problems with the, problems with this guy except for the weight issue in vehicle mode are completely fixable in terms of if you don't like it, I'm sure um, there will be replacements for it, such as the gestalt head the chest, the little dude, the gun. Um, the only things that I don't like are the gun and the head, um, both of which TSC has actually said that they might actually give a replacement head with a different look. Um, hopefully they do that. Um, I don't mind the look of the face. I just don't like the expression of the face. It just really looks like he walked in on his parents having sex, even though he's a robot and robots don't have parents. But anyway... I really dig this guy. If you're going for Uranus, obviously you have to have him, because otherwise you can't combine them up. But I still like him. I still say go with it. He's really fun, actually, in hand. He's actually pretty poseable. He's got a lot of joints. He's really beefy. Like I said, here he is with Hot Steel Thundercracker. He is beefy. He is big. He is a lot of fun. And I still think he's totally worth it. And I still think Uranus is going to be totally awesome. And I totally can't wait to see what he looks like all all combined up. And I totally just said totally about 12 times. So yeah, I'm going to shut up now. Um, this has been the video review for TFC's Project Uranus Blackbird, a.k.a. Silverbolt.